Did you know that a lot of movies and television shows were shot at locations near us? Stephanie Burnett was asked to write about these famous film locations for Town Magazine, so you know all about it. Welcome. I do. It was such a fun assignment. It really is. And you said that you were amazed at how many film sites we have in the Carolinas, and it's not just because of the tax credits. You know, tax credits do draw movies in, but every state has tax credits now. So the interesting thing about the Carolinas, it is our terrain. It is our wide open spaces dotted with 100-year-old towns. You can literally make our terrain look like any conceivable moment in modern history. Oh, good for us then. So we start yeah. closest to home right here in the upstate. There are several notable film locations. Uh, downtown Greer, tell us what happened there. Well, you know, I think a lot of people think of the Patriot. There was a lot of uh, landscape scenes in Spartanburg and Greenville County, but Leatherheads, Downtown Greer on Trade Street, mm -hmm. um, George Clooney, Renee Zellweger, John Krasinski. You know, if you want to go have your little movie moment, watch Leatherheads and go have dinner in downtown Greer on Trade Street and, you yeah. know, pretend make, like you're in Leatherheads. Make it a movie night and then make a night out of it, too. And then, of course, one of the most beloved films of all time, Dirty Dancing. Everybody oh. knows that was just filmed up the road in Lake Lure, a spectacular well, sight. Well, no one puts baby in the corner. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think we think of um, going to Lake Kiwi, but don't forget about Lake Lure. Mm -hmm. It is precious. The lake is beautiful, but the town is darling, and they are Dirty Dancing crazy. There's even a Dirty Dancing festival every September. Wow, that's worth making the trip for in itself. Well, a little known fact, Dirty Dancing is the most watched movie by women in all time. Wow, that's, yeah. that's huge. All right, see you at that <laughs> festival. That'll be great. Um, there are also some places in the Carolinas that obviously see more action than others. Tell us why Wilmington, North Carolina, is considered Hollywood South. It is. So there are more sound stages and screens in Wilmington than anywhere other than Hollywood until Tyler Perry Studios opened okay. in Atlanta recently. Yeah, that's going to change things. However, so many movies and TV shows mm -hmm. happen in Wilmington, and this is the town that Dawson's Creek built. They came for six seasons and stayed for 128 episodes. Arley Gardens has a lot of scenes that you can find in Dawson's Creek. You can also go on a dedicated tour, or the city maintains its own itinerary. Excellent. And then, you know, right in the Wilmington area, we're seeing that beach video. Carolina Beach has served as a beautiful, fictitious beach for a TV, a TV series. Which one was that? If you have a teenager, you may have watched The Summer I Turned Pretty. Uh -huh. um, it's now in season two. We'll be seeing that very shortly. And Wrightsville Beach and Carolina Beach serve as the fictitious Cousins Beach in The Summer I Turned Pretty. Okay. Plenty of beautiful uh, video to be taken there. And then in the hottest film location in South Carolina is, is Beaufort. Tell us about Beaufort. Beaufort. If you like Charleston, you will love Darling Beaufort. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. It all started with The Big Chill, which, interestingly, was the first movie shot solely on location and in Beaufort. Um, then we had The Prince of Tides with Barbara Streisand and then the megalodon of all times, Forrest Gump. So even though it was filmed in seven states, most of it was filmed in Buford. Um, you can actually see up and down Bay Street spots in Forrest Gump that both Forrest, uh, Tom Hanks, and Sally Fields. That's cool. I'm sure a lot of people just taking their pictures and their selfies on these uh, is, historic sites. It's such a fun souvenir and a free one. Yeah, absolutely. Just get there. And then there's some movies um, that are out now that were filmed in the Carolinas. What are those? I don't know if you can get any more current than in theaters right now. So Judy Bloom's Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, the 50-year-old adaptation, is in theaters right now. It was filmed in York County, which is Fort Lawn and, um, sorry, Fort Mill and Rock Hill, and also in Charlotte. Wow. And anybody who wants to learn more about those film sites and how to visit, uh, your story is in Town, Carolina. It's called On Location. Anything else that you take away from, from an assignment like that? Well, I will say that online there is also a bunch of Georgia sites to go see, including mm -hmm. The Walking Dead and Divorce Court. <laughs> Divorce Court. All right. We've got to get to that site. Uh, Stephanie, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Um, anybody watching can follow Stephanie Burnett on Instagram to keep up with her latest adventures and feel free to DM with questions. That contact information is on screen now.